Okay, cool. I think that this is one of your big, big problems that not necessarily is an actual problem, but I think it's just holding miles an hour off of your exit velocity and not allowing you to pop those big numbers. So I want you to watch Big Poppy right here, and I want how I want you to watch how when he lifts up his leg, he's just turning his back leg and turning his hips. Okay. When we go watch you, when you lift up your foot, you just push your butt forward where we're just kind of falling into our swing. So now the rest of Big Poppy, we go stretch ourselves out like you do. You do a good job of stretching yourself out like we were talking about last time of a, a rubber band between our foot and our hands. We're stretching that thing out as much as we possibly can, just like Big Poppy does. Okay, then from there, had you held your hips back a little bit more, you could have stretched yourself out a little more. And now the reason we want to stretch ourselves out more is to clear space to give us an opportunity to stay over the plate. You look at posture wise and how much more Big Poppy's head and chest is closer to the plate and you're a little bit more standing upright. The last thing that I want you to look at is just contact because you go do a good job of turning the barrel. You're strong. We go hit the ball and look how much further out in front of Big, look how much further out in front Big Poppy is hitting the ball compared to you, where we're just a little jammed. Now, it's still in a similar position where it's out in front of your foot, but you're not giving yourself enough room, and where we slid our hips forward so much, then now that's all I can do is go hit it where I'm jamming myself. My head and my chest have to land in the middle of my body, and I have to rotate it going forward so that I catch it further out in front of my front foot in your situation or spread our feet out more to hit it in the same spot.